It's time once again for the Million Dollar Question with your host, Bob Kenny, and our returning contestant, Mel Jordan. Well, Mel, how you doing? Doing okay, Bob. Relaxed? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, well, good for you. You've done wonderfully well. 13 questions in a row. But now, this is what we call the moment of truth. Well, Bob, what geeks do you have for us today? These are the keys. This is the question for that brand new automobile. Are you ready? I sure am, Bob. Good. Listen carefully now. What city houses the National Football League Hall of Fame? For the keys to that brand new car, what is your answer? Pack it up, pal. You don't have a chance. Canton, Ohio. The home of the National Football League Hall of Fame is located in... Canton, Ohio! Yeah! Well, George, you've got yourself a brand new car! All right! All right! show on TV I like is divorce court because they give away the best prize. Dory, did you see the million dollar question this morning? No, I didn't, Grace. I swear I never miss it. Anyhow, some guy is finally going for a million dollars. Oh, yeah? Nobody has ever gotten to that level. What are you, is it? Uh, are you two yapping about game shows? Hey, I got a good game show for you. It's called Let's Get Back to Work. This is reality. This is not TV. Boy, the women get together, the mouths go open, and everybody's talking. Comparing your favorite brands of soap and your water weight gain. This isn't a beauty parlor. It's a precinct. Okay. Forget it. Well, I was just trying to be sociable. Hammer, both men and women watch game shows. It's a very popular form of entertainment. Oh, listen. Last week, I made an arson suspect walk across hot coals. Now, that's entertainment. Game shows are for people that are low on brain cells. That's not true. Have you ever played Trivial Pursuit? That takes brains. Thoreau, I am in pursuit of one thing, and that is justice. And that takes bullets. Hammer, there's been an automobile accident. I want you and Doro to investigate. An automobile accident? We'll call the auto club. An unlicensed vehicle went off the pier into the West River, Hammer. Well, then call the auto club and flipper. There is a dead body in the vehicle, Hammer. Why do you always save the best for last? Let's go, Duro. No, not until you drop the subject of game shows. <sighs> All right. Let's make a deal. Hey, come on, hoist that car up! Oh, Inspector Hammer. Okay, Lloyd, uh, I'm sorry to get you out here. It turned out to be another guy drinking and driving. You sure he was drinking? Well, he was underwater, Drew. Of course he was drinking. Inspector, it took a diver five minutes to pry this out of his hand. Too bad. Had a wife. Ooh. Well, that explains the drinking. Huh? Hey, I've seen that car before. That's that that's the car that that guy won on that game show this morning. Hammer, you're such a hypocrite. Why? You said you hated those game shows. I I I happen to have been preparing for this case, Dero. A policeman has got to keep informed. Why weren't you watching? Sledgehammer, come on down. Hey, we just found this guy's identification. That's him, Mel. Mel Jordan was his name, and he was the winner on that game show this morning. You mean he won this beautiful car on a game show? You think that's funny, Mayjoy? A man just lost his life. Worse than that, he lost a chance to win a million dollars. Yeah, sorry. OK. Jordan was under the influence. Maybe he's celebrating too soon. I don't know. Maybe the pressure got to him. I don't know why it would. I saw him. He was as calm as a Perry Como groupie. I think we ought to visit his wife, the widow Jordan, and find out a few things. 
put together a few pieces. I'll move in a second, Inspector. Oh, never mind. Wait, no, I'll, I'll go around. has to be the hardest part of our job. Telling a person someone they love is gone. I hate doing this. Well, just let me handle it. Hello. May I help you? Yes, I'm Inspector Sledgehammer. This is Detective Dory Duro. We're police officers. Oh, what do you want? Well, ma'am, there was an auto accident and your husband's dead. So go ahead and cry if you want to. Oh, my God. No! We want to offer our deepest condolences, Mrs. Jordan. Jordan? But I'm Mrs. Perlin. The Jordans live next door. I was one house off. That's... Now, you know, this never would have happened if you'd had your address clearly marked on that curb out there. So just consider this a warning. Very sorry. Would you like a tissue? <laughs> no, thank you. Have a year's supply. They came yesterday with all of other lovely prizes. Was your husband a heavy drinker? No, absolutely not. My man was kind and decent and gentle. Too bad he wasn't waterproof. Game shows and concerts were his life. When's the last time you talked to your husband? Oh, he called right after he won the car. He said he was coming straight home to study. You know, we're going to start a family this year. There's a game where you win a kid? <laughs> we have to be going now, Mrs. Jordan, but we just want to offer our deepest condolences. Oh, wait, no, tell me. Just how bad was the accident? Well, if it's any consolation, it is one of the more peaceful ways to die. Locked in a car, clawing the doors, your lungs fill up with water. I guess the first couple of minutes is pretty scary, but... Then you die, so you don't know. Isn't that amazing? A man obsessed with game shows. Yep, another dolt caught up in the materialism promoted by game shows. I hate that. So why did you accept those? Well, what I took, I wanted to make her feel better, all right? These are beauties, too. <laughs> You know, I never heard of a drunken driver who drowned in the drink and never drank. Hard to believe. It's also hard to say. I think we should talk to the last people to see Mel Jordan alive. And here's your host for the million dollar question, Bob Kenny. Ladies and gentlemen, our reigning champion, Mr. Mel Jordan, has been involved in a horrible automobile accident and is no longer with us. So please, let us all bow our heads and observe a moment of silence for dear Mel. Well, life goes on, so let's meet a brand new contestant, and we'll do that right after this commercial word. So don't go away now. We'll be back. Excuse me, may I help you? Yes, we're here to talk to Bob Kinney. We're police officers. Sorry, we're in the middle of a hit show. Yeah, we're in the middle of an investigation, creep. Oh, Hammer! Re relax, Dave, relax. I always have time to talk to the police. Why don't you put that college degree to work and get me some coffee? Right away, Bob. Oh, David, please, call me sir. We know you're very busy, but we have some questions we'd like to ask you. Hey, questions? <laughs> That's my game. Shoot. Just kidding, Inspector. <laughs> the category is dead Mel's. Yes, of course, Mel. You know, Inspector, in this business we call show, contestants come and go, but Mel wasn't just a, a first name on a cheap tag. No. He had a last name, too. What the hell was it? Jordan. That's it. Jordan. Mel Jordan. That's it. Lovely guy. Inga, would you please get lost? Here's your coffee, sir. Thanks. By the way, great show today, sir. Wind my watch. Now, where were we? Mel Jordan. Was he acting strange lately? As I recall, he was very, very nervous. As a matter of fact, he, uh, he said he was going to down a few stiff drinks before he took that new car out for a spin. Really? 
Did he mention anything about driving drunkenly off a pier? No, I, 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 I don't believe so. Look who's here, sir. Ah, it's my boy. Glad I could be of some help. Who's that, his kid? No, president of the station. I don't know, Hammer. I think maybe for the first time, Mel Jordan has been overwhelmed by his good fortune. I don't buy it. There's something about that guy I don't trust. What is that? He's a game show host. Who are you calling? The coroner. I want the final results on Mel Jordan's death. Oh, Hammer, you're so paranoid. Every death isn't a murder. Hey, I'm an optimist. Coroner's office. Norman. Hi, this is Sledgehammer. Oh, hi, Sledgehammer. A bunch of bodies came in, but there's no jackets or shoes your size. No, oh, hey, thanks for thinking of me. No, I want the uh, autopsy results on uh, Mel Jordan. That was uh, intoxication, right? No, there wasn't a single trace of alcohol in this bloodstream. Cause of death was a severe blow to the head. Well, thanks, Norman. Well? Well, according to the autopsy results, Mel Jordan was dead sober. Emmer, look at these old newspaper clippings. Oh, yeah. Oh, a sale on white walls. Huh. No, below that. There's an article on Bob Kinney. Apparently, he filed for bankruptcy over a year ago and had gambling debts of upwards of a million dollars. State records show that they were paid off six months ago. A million dollar prize and a million dollar gambling debt. Now that could explain why no one has gotten to the million dollar level, because he will not let them. There's no money to win. So he puts on people with the IQ of cotton. Yeah, what about Mel Jordan? Mel Jordan took him by surprise. You see, he looks dumb, but he turned out to be a genius. A trick I've used myself. I think I'm going to go down and have a little talk with Bob Kinney about his choice of contestants. What do you want from me now? I've told you all I know about that Jordan guy. Will you stop harassing me? I'm a very busy man. Yes, Bob is a very busy man. Hey, I'm not. I'm not harassing you. If I were harassing you, you would know it. <laughs> Listen, I love your show. I tape your show. And I want to be on it. Are you kidding? Is he kidding, Bob? What are you, a ventriloquist dummy? No. But I filled in for one once. David, please, get me some coffee. Look, uh, Inspector, uh, you're just not the type for television. Well, what do you mean? Me and my gun are billed as regulars on the local news. Look, why don't you just leave? Shut up, David. Sure, Bob. Why don't we give the Inspector a chance? Uh, run a question by him. Great idea, Bob. I'm game. Go. All right, Mr. Hammer. What is the title of the Academy Award-winning film about a peace-loving man who united India? Rambo. <laughs> I love it, a cop with a sense of humor. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna love promoting you on the air. You're on the show. Great. You're kidding. <laughs> well, great, terrific. Oh, I look forward to it. Maybe I can put you through bankruptcy <laughs> again. Bob, why are you putting him on? That guy's as dopey as all the others. I'll humiliate him on local TV. That'll deprive him of all credibility. So if he tries to charge us with something, it'll make him look like a sore loser. Brilliant, Bob, but I'm scared. Look, you work for me. I'll tell you when to be scared. You wanted to work in TV, didn't you? Yes, but I killed a man for you. That's part of working in TV. Do you know how many people would kill you for your job? OK, Bob, OK. Can I get you some fresh coffee? No. Coffee making days are over. I'd be a coffee cake. Hammer, you're going on that game show? Shh, shut up, Bob. Just be. Look, it's the only way that I can prove that Kenny can't pay the grand prize. I'm going all the way. A million dollars. Yeah, but why did they let you on in the first place? Kenny thinks I'm not the brightest guy in the world. Sledge, did it ever occur to you that you're not the brightest guy in the world? That's why you're going to help me. I know a great reference library. I'll get an ear radio from the SWAT team, and you feed me the answers. I can't lose. Well, that's cheating. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. And now, let's give a big welcome to your host of the Million Dollar Question, Bob Kenny. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
George for that warm reception and welcome. All right, Hammer. I'm sad. Joan Drew. Joan, welcome back. Nice to see you. We need a challenger for you, and who might that be? Bob, our next contestant is a police officer whose hobbies are police work. Please welcome Inspector Sledge Hammer. Sledge, welcome to Million Dollar Question. Now remember, Sledge, you are the challenger. That means you'll begin. But before that, let's meet our prize lady, the lovely Inga. As you can see, we have five categories here. They are faces and places, food for thought, the good book, famous berries, and grab bag. Pick a category. Grab bag. <laughs> Tough category, my friend. Potpourri of very hard questions. Thank you, Inga. Now, uh, remember, Sledge, very important. You control the board as long as you answer correctly. Incorrect, Joan takes over. Here is your first question, and listen carefully. What is the name? of the artist whose famous painting depicts a beautiful woman standing in a clamshell. Art, 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 Okay, I got it, wait, wait. Okay, Botticelli. Botticelli. Correct. <laughs> what is the lowest temperature ever recorded in the continental United States? Hold on, Hammer. It's, uh, uh... Minus 70 degrees. Precisely. He was the only president without a first lady. Hold on, Hammer, I'm looking. It was, uh, uh, James Buchanan. That's right. What medieval hero fought the monster Grendel? Beowulf. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? Grant and his wife. How many men on the hockey team? Six. What is the capital of Upper Volta? Ouagadougou. Parsec. Green. Pulsars. David Mamet. A tie. Where will you find the famous Spanish steps? Warm. Warm. Rome, right again. Hey, you're one tough cop. I've, I've got my car parked out in the red zone. You want to give me a ticket? No, I'm going to blow you away. <laughs> Isn't he cute? No sledge. The siren means that you've answered 26 questions in a row. That gives you the right to go for $1 million on today's show. You know, nobody's ever gone this far before. I know. It's a crime. Well, let's find out if you're a real cop or if you're going to cop out. He's making his move now, Sledge. I'm going to go for it. We'll be back with Sledgehammer's final question in just a moment. So don't go away. The cop is a super genius. We can't afford to pay him if he wins. You flaming fool. No wonder you still live with your mother. Hammer's not going to win. There's going to be another accident. Not another accident after the show. Not after the show. During the show. You see that big spotlight right over his head? That's going to fall and kill him right on the air. We'll have millions of witnesses, and the ratings will go right through the roof. You can't do that. I know that. You're going to do it. Got to kill again? Please, just this once. I'll do you a favor. I'll take you miniature golfing. All right, I'll kill him. Uh, one more thing. I know. Get your coffee. No, you spineless freak. Get me an espresso. Welcome back to the show. Well, Sledge, if you answer this question correctly, you win a cool million dollars. Incorrect, you lose everything. What's the problem? I lost contact. Contact? Lens. Oh, lens. We don't have time for that now. Good luck. Has anyone seen Hammer today? Yeah, he's on a game show. All right. Here's your question. Elmer Keith is known as the father of what? You have 10 seconds. Look out! What are you doing? 
one, Doro. I could have answered that one. He invented the 44 Magnum. I know that one. Pepper. I know it. You get Kitty. I'll get his gopher. Hold it right there. He made me do it. He forced me to kill that man. It made me get coffee. Hold it, Hammer. Game's over, cheese ball. Go to heck, cop. Go to heck. You can't say hell on television. Let's give this guy his cancellation notice. Now, it's important to remember to move the turkey before its temperature reaches 170 degrees. How do I turn this thing off? Great show for kids. Fortunately, no one was injured. And this just in. What's going on here? Bob Kenny, game show host, is arrested for the murder of Mel Jordan. Bob Kenny, game show host, is arrested for the murder of Mel Jordan. And you heard it here first on KPSC News.